so hello guys uh, this video is an brief overview of uh, my app one presenter so we'll just go to the play store we can start by searching for one presenter i have the app already installed so let's open this up so uh, let's just start by creating a new account with sign up so i'll enter my name i'll enter one of my email ids and i'll enter a simple password you guys can choose a uh, different password as always so uh, it asks to verify the email which i'll do right away so uh, this is actually an additional step so that you yourself can use the mail id and nobody else registers using your mail id so uh, we will verify this now okay the mail has been verified so now we can sign in we'll just use the mail id and the password to sign in okay let me just reset i think i put in some wrong me i password i mean so okay this shouldn't have happened let's me choose a new password same as the other one save it password has been changed now i would like to sign in again 1 2 3 4 5 6 let's try now yep we are in so uh yeah this is my name uh, my name up here and uh, we have presentations media control and system control so uh, while we have this presentations there's a timer which tells you how much time you spent on your slides the media controls can be used for play pause stop previous and the next media so and the, and the volume buttons can change the uh, volume of your PC so while you are remotely connected on system power controls we have lock screen we have sleep we have shutdown and we have a restart option so uh, let us just pair it up with the PC we'll see what we can have so this is my home page this is onepresenter.com and uh, this is where you can get the Android app which we already have and the Windows app which is a companion app for the PC which we will download right away I think shouldn't take much time it's under 40 MB so uh, this is a zip actually I had downloaded it previously so let us just wait for a couple of seconds more Okay, I think now we should be good to go. Let us just unzip this one. So once you unzip this one, you will find the... Which actually contains the one presenter desktop app so we will run this one we can close this for a while actually we'll close chrome yeah this is the first time uh, the app is running on system like the one which i recently downloaded so it might take up a while shouldn't be long Meanwhile, uh, we could okay. So like, we have this screen. So uh, like using the same credentials which I used to set up the mobile app. So this was my mail ID presenter app testing at the rate gmail.com. 
and the password was one two three four five six okay i shouldn't be disclosing the password but then it's just a test gmail so i should be hitting login and run so uh, it will just take a moment to log me in and it says running and uh, my device name is mentioned up here which is the honor device i'm using so we have uh, this connected to okay so uh, one presenter desktop app is running we have the mobile app running so let us just try to open up the media controls and let's go to chrome okay funny cat videos okay let me just open up the playlist i'll mute it for now okay so this is a video i'll just try to pause it using the media control on my phone so i hit pause this is paused i'll let i'll just play it again and i'll pause it now uh, let's try to go to the next video in the playlist okay another funny cat i'll go back to the previous one okay and i'll stop it right there cool so as you can see the media control works i will just demonstrate by changing the volume so this is volume low this goes high okay yeah sorry it was the lag yeah but it works i pressed the button too hard okay i'll just reduce it now okay so uh, this is to demonstrate the media controls uh, for my system power controls i have locking the system i can put the system to sleep this is for shutting down the pc this is for restarting the pc and in presentations we have the next and the previous slides uh, i think i probably can go to how do we say google slides and i can probably demonstrate to you how does presentations work so like uh, we have a clock running up which actually does the job of telling you how much time you have spent on a presentation so i'll uh, it says uh, use phone volume buttons to change slides so i'll just use that now it says previous slide so we are back to slide one which is loading for now so I'll just go back to slide 2 which is the next slide okay I'll go to slide 3 okay uh, yeah we have it just let's let's just move to slide 4 okay so uh, you can see we can use it for changing slides as well uh, this is for previous previous okay slide 1 is still loading let's just leave it at that okay and uh, the presentation clock is still running for now let's just go back and this is all i have at one presenter i hope you guys like it and uh, regarding the phone uh, mirrored to my laptop this is just to demonstrate it because i could not have recorded the both of those devices into the single screen so i mirrored it uh, this will work over the internet it has no physical uh, limitations of range whatsoever so you could literally use it across the world given your phone and your PC are connected to the internet that's all it takes and I'll just close the app now a terminal will appear this is just to close uh, I mean this is just to ensure that the desktop app is properly closed and nothing is left running so now if I uh, just hit the presentations nothing else will pop up because it's not connected to anything that is uh, guys uh, this is all I have with one presenter I hope you like it thank you